Consumer alert tonight. Home health screening kits are a multi-billion dollar industry. Every year, more and more Americans rely on the do-it-yourself medical kits rather than a doctor's opinion. But are they accurate and are they worth the money? NBC 26's Eric Kress puts them to the test. Checking your cholesterol, certain types of cancer and HIV can all be done from the comfort of your home nowadays. But some in the medical field warn. Sometimes it's best to have some face-to-face -face time with your doctor first. Sales of home health screening kits are becoming more and more popular. Doctors having to have more conversations with their patients about them. These home devices are good in that they keep patients engaged and they're increasing the patient's knowledge about their own health. And we always encourage that. The most popular kit doctors are hearing about those used to test blood sugar levels. I think the glucose monitor is probably the most trustworthy um, as far as the accuracy of the reading. But there are others, like most cholesterol tests, that merely give you a number. Which is not nearly as helpful as breaking it down into good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Not quite the same as what doctors would be able to share about your overall health. And just getting that number, I think, has to be followed up um, by a physician's recommendation about that number. Another popular at-home testing kit is for HIV. Here at the AIDS Resource Center in Green Bay, their tests... We do what is called a rapid HIV test. And they're extremely accurate. They are like a 99.9% .9 accuracy. But some studies suggest at-home HIV testing kits, the ones where you're asked to swab the inside of your mouth, produce false negative results up to 10% of the time. A false negative means that you would get a negative test result, but you in fact do have HIV. It does surprise me. I, would, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they said 10% came back false positives, um, but coming back false negative really does surprise me. And while keeping tabs on your personal health is something any medical professional would support. The quicker you get into medical care, the better your health outcomes are going to be. But I think there are a lot of precautions about using them as far as what to do with the numbers, whether the device is accurate or not and uh, how often you should be testing. Because with the onslaught of at-home options for health screenings, doctors hope that you keep them in mind when you wrap up a test. Between 2012 through 2017, it's estimated that at-home health screening kits will generate $24 billion worldwide. Just make sure you consult your doctor after getting your results. Keeping you connected, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26. Experts say to get the most accurate results, pay attention and follow the instructions on the package.